Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 7 of Direwolf20's server play series. I'm on Forgecraft 2, and I'm just hanging out. Are my bottles still working? I'm gonna say... no, they're not. Now is it working? Now it is, yeah. I yep. can tell. <laughs> For some reason, not only Wei and Quetzi, by the way, who are both online with me right now, not only does it, like, sometimes not work, but it also shares with everybody on the server and all kinds of other weird things that it does. So I don't even know anymore. <laughs> but I've got some cool stuff that I want to work on today. I managed to get myself a stack of compressed iron. My computer seems to be doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's keeping the pressure. I adjusted it to be at 2. So as soon as the air compressor hits 2, the pressure chamber will stop filling up with air pressure. But uh, that's going to change in a minute because I'm going to have to actually do a little bit of work here. Let's see. Do I have a shovel anywhere? No, I guess I don't. All right. Then I'm just digging down with a torch. I want to get um, the thing that allows me to put items in and out of the pneumatic craft guy without having to break it every time. So for that, we're going to need a pressure chamber thingamabob. That guy. Pressure chamber interface. All right, so I need a lot of compressed iron, obviously, a couple hoppers, and I think I made the hoppers already. And the good news is that you get four of these interfaces per crafting. So actually, oh, that's really good news. So I really don't need that much. Um, I just need... Um, two of these cylinders. So I need 12 pieces of plastic and a cannon barrel. And for this safety valve, I'm going to need a pressure gauge. Okay, that doesn't look terrible. Not terrible, they say. So how are you guys doing? Good. Yeah, what's new and exciting? Uh, nothing new and exciting. Yeah, same old. Same old, same old. Oh, I'm just cool. delving into Waze mod, so. Oh, dangerousness then, huh? Yeah, How many it's, times did it's you die overwhelming so far? at the moment? That's a good question. How many times did you die so far? Just just the once and I'm blaming lag. Uh-huh. Always. Cuz I, I like I was getting down to four hearts and then it just stops and and then like three or four seconds later I was dead. That <laughs> doesn't sound like lag to me. Sounds like you. I'm so cruel. Indeed. Is that is that by design, is it? Um, what? That it lags right before you die? Yeah. Maybe. I'm gonna say that's unlikely. <laughs> so what by the way guys, what should happen right now is as soon as I break this tank, um, and replace the walls here, which I'm gonna do right with that. And with that, all the pressure is going to be released because I broke the tank, and we can hear it releasing. Um, but what I actually want to do is... Yes? No, I want this guy to be turned. I wonder if I can turn these with the drill. That's my question. There is a new Metacraft. I thought it was a drill. Oh, there it is, pneumatic wrench. Uh, so we're going to need some burst plant seeds in order to get the plastic to make this. So I don't have those at the moment, so we're going to have to hold off on making this. So in order to get this guy to behave correctly, I'm going to have to jump up to the top here. It's all about the way you place it initially, so you want to be facing the right way. Mm -hmm. There we go. So now that that guy is placed like that, I can put the topper back on here. There we go. And we can see that this thing automatically turned back on and started burning up some coal to get us back up to uh, two bars of pressure. So that's kind of cool. All right, now the way we want to configure this pressure chamber is we want to have an item filter. So the first thing I want to make sure of is that compressed iron is in the filter. The reason we need the filter is because we don't want to put iron in here and then have it pulled out before it turns into compressed iron. So you need to filter it so that it knows which items are allowed to come in and out. We can also put a speed up gate uh, to, to make it a little bit faster, which I don't think we really need. Did, have you done the configuration with the whole pressure chamber interface, Quetzi, when you're thing? Oh, that's cool. I like that. All right, so we've got an interface. We've got this thing ready to go. Um, this is cool as it is. I'm debating how I want to transfer items in and out of the whole interface thing. Do I want to use build craft pipes? I'm 
Not sure if they'll craft pipes, if they'll just like automatically go into the pipe or if they have to be pumped out with a wooden pipe. If it needs a wooden pipe, I'll pass, but if it doesn't, yeah, that would be neat. I think I have another hopper here. So what I'm gonna do is number one, make sure this thing, hmm, I wouldn't mind another air compressor, I don't think. But eh, I'll just leave it as is for now. Maybe a manual air compressor. Eh, for now it's all right. Um, I will put the hopper on this guy. By the way, there's a hopper added by New Metacraft, which is awesome. Have you guys tried? Have you tried that out, Quetzi? Quetzi is not paying attention anymore. <laughs> How about you, Wei? Have you tried out the hopper from Pneumatocraft? Uh, still haven't managed to touch the mod as of yet. Oh man, I love the hopper. It's omnidirectional. You can <laughs> place it like any direction you want. You can have it facing up or facing sideways, however you want. Sorry, I, I am here. I was just closing down my stream. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so we've got that guy ready. I'm gonna try just running pipes to a chest. And we're gonna see. Have you tried, have you messed with the piping items out of the interface much, by the way? Uh, a little bit. Do you know if they auto-eject into... I'm using into... the extra utilities transfer nodes to pull stuff out. Are you? Does it need to pull out, or will it transfer directly into a pipe? Well, I'm using, actually using a transfer node, so I'm pulling out. Okay. I'm just wondering if you know if it'll automatically dump into a Billcraft pipe or not. I I don't know, but I assumed that it wouldn't. Probably it'll dump directly into a hopper. But, you know, that's... <laughs> but hoppers pull, so... I'm not too sure, to be honest with you. So one thing we'll test to make sure this is working correctly is I'll put the iron ingot in. And, oh good, I can open that chest. So the iron ingot should pop in there. There it is. Cool. Now keep in mind, though, you do lose a little bit of pressure whenever that door opens to pop an item in. But... Not the end of the world. All right, we'll be back in just a minute once this thing presses uh, the two bar, and we'll see if it actually dumps directly into a pipe. All right, guys, I checked. It did finish the crafting, and it's stuck in the chamber there, so it does need to be pulled out manual. It won't automatically come out. So I think I'll do like uh, Quetzi suggested and use the extra utilities thing. Uh, let's see. Oh, I really miss having any eye subsets. So I want the item doohickey, there it is. So we can do this with a block of redstone instead of an ender pearl, which is, wow. He really changed the recipe for that. <laughs> Does yeah, it really make it's... 32 transfer nodes when you use an ender pearl? Yep. Wow. That's, uh, that's a lot of things. It's definitely efficient. Cool. So I guess I'll want just a bit of redstone. I do have some wood laying around. And I need some smooth stone, which I should have some of in here. Cool. So let's see, I know I want to make some pipes. Oh wow, that's an energy pipe apparently. I meant to make a crossover pipe. No, I meant to make a transfer pipe. Ah, I need glass. Okay. I really need to organize my chests. That's like the next on my to-do list. I, for now, I hear I hear Soren has a solution for that. Soren has many solutions for that. None of them are good. Okay, and then you... There we go. Nice.
And there we are. Cool. So we've got compressed iron automation. Nice. So now that we've got this thing up to temperature, and I have actually, I bumped it up to three is where I want to have the cutoff pressure at. Um, all I have to do whenever I want to make some compressed iron or anything else for that matter is go ahead and add that. Um, the only other thing that we have to worry about is updating the filter. So whenever I add like, you know, the pressure plates or something, there it goes. It should have automatically, and we've got, nice, that's cool. It's working. All right, so we've got the pressure chamber now. Let's go look at some of the plants that we're gonna need. So I wonder what kind of seeds I've got laying around in here. I've got fire, slime, creeper. All these plants are terrifying me. Uh, those are cotton seeds, I don't need those. Barley, creeper, ender, burst, potion, repulsion, chopper. Flying flower. I think those were the ones that I needed for the wrench, wasn't it? They were burst plant seeds. Chopper, burst. Yeah, I have burst plant seeds. Cool. Uh, the only thing I'm probably also going to want is some bone meal. I'm going to go ahead and grind that up. I don't think there's any other seeds that I'm going to want here, right? That looks good. Good. Move these because I know I want them elsewhere. Oh, there we go. Slime plant, squid plant, more ender plants, more regular seeds. I really need to organize my inventory. I've been keeping all my regular seeds in this chest because I've been using them. All right, so that'll do. Let me try and figure out a nice, efficient design for a farm for these things. Now, because they are affected by bone meal, I think it would be smart to bring my mana pool and my agricarnation to wherever I'm gonna have this set up. And I should probably also look at what kind of dirt I've got because I know most of these need to be planted on dirt, though some do need to be planted on netherrack. So, and I think that's the main, a couple of them need water too. Dirt, grass, or farmland is fine here. This guy needs end stone. Has anybody been to the end yet on the server? Uh, yes, I actually have some spare end stone in the chest if you want it. Oh, nice. Thanks, dude. I would definitely, uh, I would definitely take you up on that. No problem. Flying right over now. Oh, cool. Thanks. Uh, we did add a couple mods, didn't we? Miscraft updated, didn't it? Yes, it did. Nice. Um, anything else new or just Miscraft? I think just Miscraft. We might have a few mods on the pipeline, but only that so far. Cool. Okie dokie. Alright guys, how about I'll be back after I've done a little bit of terrain altering stuff. Alright guys, I actually came up with a really cool idea, or at least I think it's a cool idea. We're gonna have to test it out a little bit. Um, Oh, that's something else I have to test. There's a couple things I need to test. I wonder if the if the agricarnation needs line of sight or if a lack of line of sight will be okay. We're gonna find out. So I've got a ton of molten glass in here and I've recently been told a little trick per my YouTube comments. If I put a bucket in the casting table, right, Quetzi? Is that what you said to do? Yeah. Oh cool, that does work. And then I've got a molten glass bucket, awesome. So then what I should be able to do is use some of the transfer nodes from extra utilities like that. And yeah, I need to filter it though. Well, it's holding liquid glass, so that's cool. Um, I think it's the, um, I think I have to make an item filter. There's no fluid filter, right? I just use the item filter if I remember correctly. So I need a string and some sticks. Let's see, string. Once again, on my to-do list is sort out my inventory. I might not have any string. That's funny. Do I have any wool? Ooh, is that dark iron? It is dark iron. Oh, you can't grindstone wool into string, okay. You need a pulverizer for that, right? Uh, do I? A pulverizer thingy. A macerator. Macerator. Oh, I can do it with alchemy too. Oh well. All right, then I'm going to have to kill some spiders. That's all right. I've got this awesome armor set. It'll give me a good excuse to go outside and light up the rest of my house. 
Moving up. Alright, need to find spiders. So how are you doing, CPW? Not too bad. Been having some fun with Miss Craft. Oh, nice. Yeah, I know. I saw it's on the server now. I'm pretty excited to start messing around with it. Maybe even make a digger age. Apparently that's my job yeah, now. Indeed. Yes, it is, sir. Okay. Seems to have become tradition that you make the digger ages. I can, uh, I can certainly try to manage that. Alright. Oh, if I, I can avoid getting killed by creepers. <laughs> Almost got that one. Apart from anything else, we also do need a nexus where we can put books. Yeah, I know. So Wei said he kind of had a nexus going, but his nexus is going to be in the overworld, which isn't going to be conducive. Not very useful. Now. Alright, hungry, dying, getting shot by skeletons, time to run. This armor is good, but it doesn't protect you from being stupid. But hopefully someone else goes to sleep too. I'm jumping into a bed right now. I got the string I need, so I'm happy. I thought everybody was in spitting distance to my place anyway. No. Uh, I'm right by your place because I've been stealing from you. I am 1500 blocks from most people. Way is my nearest neighbor, and he is. Well, Pahima is my nearest neighbor, but Way is my nearest neighbor out of you lot, and he's about 1200, 1500 blocks away. Ah. A little way away. Alright, so let's see if I get the item filter in here. I think I can do... There was a way to get liquid into the item filter, wasn't there? Alright, I must be derping. I'm gonna put it in there and see if it works anyway. Let's see. I have to be honest, I struggled putting the liquid filter on those as well, but I haven't used them before, so I just assumed I was doing it wrong. I wonder if Tema's around. I'm gonna ask him real quick. Well, yeah, whatever I did, I did it wrong, because I just got a ton of molten aluminum brass going on now. So that's not good. All right, well, I'm gonna have to figure this out. I'll be back in a few, guys. All right, guys, we're back. So I've got a couple little tricks up my sleeve. I hope this will work out. Let's see if I have the stuff for this insufficient V. I need some fire aspect. Hey, I know where there's fire aspect. Pardon me a moment. I think there should be some right in this node right there. Yeah, there is. Cool. I'll just borrow that, and there we go. Nice. And then I want... You. Golem animation core? Gather. I think I've got a really good idea on how to collect all these seeds for Pneumaticraft CPW. Speaking of West CPW, are you still here, by the way? Maybe, maybe not. Four, four, and Nice. Straw Golem. Cool. Well, I'm all by myself on the server all of a sudden. Oh, CBW's muted, that's why. Alright, so I've got the Straw Golem, I've got the Animation Core. I might need to put a Vism upgrade on him. We'll see. Um, I'm also getting myself a ton of glass, which I did not automate the pulling out of it yet. Hold on, let's get that going. Um, you know, I was forgetting to do something. So much to do to build up this automation stuff. There we go. Cool. 
While that clear glass is going, we're going to come over here and I'm going to demonstrate what I hope will be able to kind of give me an idea of how well this will work. Let's do this. Now, I might need to do some protections or something to make sure my golem over here doesn't die, but hopefully I could pull off something like this and gather mode. Now, will you collect items from this range? Theoretically, yes. Good. How about from all the way back here? Oh, nice. Hey, you're back? Oh, it's Tema. Tema! <laughs> How are you doing? Good, I'm having trouble. Good idea, what's up? How do I get item filters to filter on a liquid for fluid transfer nodes? Uh, you double click. It didn't work then. Yeah, might be broken. I think it is. That's what I tried to do and it didn't work, so I'm like, ah, oh, he must have changed how it works. Alright, so my straw golem can collect all the seeds. So the plan here is to... Well, I need the seeds, actually. But there's something else that's part of the plan. I'm playing with new Metacraft, by the way, buddy. How are you doing? Okay. Eh, not bad. I've been able to play in the, well, early mornings. Yeah. What time is it there for you? Oh, yeah, it's uh, 20 minutes to 2. Gone AM. AM. AM's a very early M. That's the wrong kind of M. Yeah. Got insomnia, so. Ah, gotcha. No. I'm recording too, by the way, in case you didn't realize. Hello, YouTube. Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> I have a molten glass bucket, but when I clicked, it was only putting the item version in. It wasn't putting liquid versions in. No big deal. Not the end of the world. Alright, so what I'm going to do, guys, is basically this. Um, once I've got these all planted out correctly, and you know what, I need some end stone. I asked Way of Time to bring me a few end stone, and he brought me like 12 stacks of it. So, I guess that's good. I'm not entirely sure what the... Oh, thanks, buddy. He was trying to pick it all up for me. That's ender plant seeds. All right, Q. No, you weren't supposed to pick that up. Well, kind of you were supposed to pick that up. Plant. There it goes. So what will happen here, in theory, is the following. I think when these guys reach maturity they shoot out I think it ran out this way don't know exactly where it went did it spawn an enderman is that what it does might need to wait for nighttime for this one might be creating an enderman and it's teleporting away Different plants do different things. Let's do flying. Now, flying flower is a bad example, too. Uh, creeper plant seeds. These might be a good example. There it goes. Nice. Haha. <laughs> cool. Um, so that's basically what these seeds do, is they explode and create an item entity on the ground, which will then get picked up by the golem. Now, if there's, if it lands on dirt and can plant itself, it will, which I'm fine with, because I'm planning to kind of get this thing to, there it goes, backing away. See how it's shooting far away, though? That's what I want to kind of avoid, so that's why I've got the clear glass. I want to make a one block tall clear glass area that will basically protect these things so that we can do something like this. You ready? Let's see, creeper plant seeds. I'm gonna plant this guy back in here. And then I'm gonna put clear glass over top. Oh yeah, the connected texture for clear glass is very, very derpy. And then ideally, back away. 
So that one replanted itself. But the basic gist is it doesn't go flying, right? And then the golem can get in there and get it. Cool, right? He just has to find out how to get his way back to where he belongs, which hopefully he'll eventually figure out. There he goes. Nice. All right, so let me plant some of these guys, and we will be back. I'm going to have the water ones just go all the way along the back. All right, guys, we're back, and I've got some progress made on what I want to do, um, but I want to make more. Uh, but first, I want to snag this mana pool and this agricarnation. And we're going to see if this works, or at least how well it works. Put that there. Put the mana pool. I'm going to try it up here and see how well this works. So I need that stick thing. And I hear an enderman poking around. CBW, did you, have you seen me in uh, Pahamar's series on Agrarian Skies? I've been watching bits of it, yes. So, like, every time we try to do something with Endernin, they're, like, totally trolling us. Like, crazy I amounts. noticed. Yeah. <laughs> and Pahamar's like, dude, I thought it was, like, just a joke. I'm like, no. Endermen troll me. Like, I don't know if it's at this point, like, specially coded or what the deal is, but Endermen are so trolly anytime they have to do anything near me. It's crazy. <laughs> and I can't tell if this agrocarnation is uh, doing stuff or not. You've uncovered our secret. We added it to Forge to troll Direwolf. I, you know what, dude? I would believe it. At this point. <laughs> I can't tell if this is actually working or not. I'm going to try... I mean, I'm not sure if it needs line of sight, and it's kind of hard. It doesn't look like it's working on these plants. You know what I could do? Just to demonstrate real quick if this is working or not. This will tell me. This will tell me if it's the if this thing's not working or what the deal is. So yeah, it's actually doing particle effects on that plant right there. Interesting. So I don't know if it's actually having an effect on these plants. Bone meal does work on them, so I think it would work, but it doesn't really seem to be. But it's definitely running, it would seem. And it's definitely got mana, as we can see, because the mana bar is full. Yeah, I'll just leave it there, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, I'll move it and do something with it later. At least for now, though. This should do. So, long story short, I just want to test this real quick and make sure it's totally behaving. And I can do that with actual bone meal. I can do something like this. There we go. And then the golem goes and gets it. See, the, the glass is keeping it trapped underneath, otherwise they might fly away or fly out of this area. Haha, <laughs> nice. I picked it up because I was there, but he would have gotten it. This is actually working. I'm a little bit surprised. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little surprised this is working. Um, yeah, so we leave this up and running. And all I really need to do is protect my golem now from death. Which I can probably handle. Alright, so I think that's pretty good. I think a few more fences, which I do have, and I'll probably just run out something like this. There you go. And yeah, he shouldn't be able to get out of there. So, like, if there's an item out here, he can't get to it. But if something in here grows, like, I want to see. Let's do the fire flowers. Am I out of bone meal already? Yeah. Necrotic bone, which I kind of do want to use. 
I'll just grind them all up. I've got such a mess in this room. But yeah, I've, uh, I think I've got automated flowers and such. Cool. All right, I'm just going to test this a little bit more, guys. Let's see. Do I have any more bone meal already? Yeah, I do. Cool. I just want to do like one or two more flowers just to make sure that it's all working the way I think it does. And then I can kind of leave it be. And if we come back a little bit later, hopefully I'll have a bunch of cool stuff. There it goes. Cool. And he should go in and get it. Nice. Look at that. It's totally working. I think I picked up that flower. Yeah, I did fire flower seeds. Okay. So what I'll probably do is come back after this is run for a little bit and just kind of expand it a little bit because there's obviously some flowers that I'm missing and a couple other things that need to be done. But I mean, overall, it's working. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, so I think what I'll do here is wrap up the episode, and then we'll come back next time and kind of see how things progress. Now, some of these plants might actually replant themselves, uh, but the golem will probably pick up the seeds almost before that's allowed to happen. So I'm going to leave this whole system up and running. We've obviously got a bunch of seeds. Um, I, I made sure that I have the burst plant seeds are like kind of right here. Those are the ones I need for the wrench, and I've got a bunch of other seeds here. I'll kind of, when I get a chance, catalog which ones are in here already, and then start going out into the world finding the ones that I'm missing and know for a fact I need because uh, I have no idea which ones do which and what they're used for and all that stuff so we'll leave that is and then uh, we'll be back next time and start playing some more with Pneumaticraft and of course we've got lots of other mods to mess around with and some new mods to start checking out pretty soon all right guys for now this is Daryl 20 signing off hope you've enjoyed the episode and take it easy <laughs>